Hi there! Welcome to this video and my channel. My name is Heather. I am the owner and creator here at Wicked Whiskey Designs and today we are doing ink swirl tumblers. I love these. These are just awesome. Um, glitter base, a couple coats of epoxy, and then you swirl alcohol ink on top. You can change up your colors. You can do any color you want or you can be like me and add every color of the rainbow because you know I've, obviously I have to do that including my hair so um, why do you need to know how to do these one word one word boys boys is why you need to know how to alcohol ink swirl this is March around this time of year every year I start getting all sorts of inquiries because ladies are planning their vacations they're going to Cancun they're going to the Caribbean they're going all over the place for a beach vacation and they need something sparkly for their drinks but they are taking their husband or their son or their nephew with them and they don't want their significant other or the men in their life they don't want them to have glitter on their cup what do you do you swirl them a cup not like this necessarily but you leave off that glitter base and then you you know swirl in blues teals a little bit of you know what color is it mocha at the bottom throw a palm tree on it and now Bob is walking around Cancun with an awesome tumbler and he's not rocking just a one color spray paint tumbler okay so that's why you need to know how to do alcohol ink swirls because that way Bob can have a great cup for his vacation and his wife is happy always a good thing so I'm gonna link below all of the items I am using in this video to make this cup. That way, if you wanna pick up the exact items I have used to do all of this madness, you are welcome to do so. If you have any questions or comments, just wanna drop by and say hi, please leave that in the comment section below as well. And I will get back with you right away or as soon as I can. What else am I gonna say here? Like and subscribe. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, this is a new channel. I have so many ideas. We're gonna be doing so many cups in the future. Definitely want to know when those are up. Definitely subscribe. And I think that pretty much wraps up the intro to this video. I'm going to go ahead and get started and show you everything you need to do to make this tumbler. You always want to start your project with a fully sanded and prepped cup. That means going ahead and sanding down your cup with a small sanding block or sanding paper and then wiping it down with 99% alcohol. Be sure to spray paint your tumbler using short light bursts for the perfect result. Now let's go over some tips and tricks. Hey guys, okay let's go over a couple of little tips and tricks to make this cup. Number one, glitter choice. Um, if you go with a chunky or like a mid chunky or in the case of this glitter it's an angry glitter, it's very boinky, it's a real word. Um, you're gonna need more coats of epoxy. If you go with a fine glitter, you're gonna need maybe one less coat of epoxy. So choose, you know, choose which direction you wanna go. There's not a wrong answer. It's just gonna all depend on how, um, how easy you can cover that glitter with your epoxy. Um, second, heat, okay, heat sources. We all probably have one of those little heat guns that we used to use to, um, to heat our bubbles out before I think a lot of us have flipped over to torches. Get a torch. They're on Amazon. They're like, I don't know, 10 bucks. With a torch, you have very specific heat point to be able to, you know, move and swirl this ink. If you are using a heat gun, it's got a much larger area that it blasts that air out and you're going to be moving more larger chunks of the epoxy and the ink if that makes sense and you may end up very melted and swirly and not in a good way so um, definitely if you don't have one of those little torches pick one up like I said I think they're like ten dollars um, ink ink is kind of a big deal kind of not a big deal when I first started oh goodness when I first started doing tumblers this was never supposed to turn into a thing it was supposed to just be a side hustle to my side hustle and in the beginning, I had absolutely no money to put towards any of this. I think I started this um, company with like $100. Top to bottom, everything. Went and bought the cheapest glitter, cheapest ink, cheapest spinner, cheapest epoxy. This literally was never supposed to be a thing. Okay. Um, so believe me when I tell you ink matters. If you can splurge a little bit and 
pick up some of the better known brands of alcohol ink, your, your colors are going to be brighter, okay? If you um, are looking at Pinata, Tim Holtz, those kind of brands, usually you can get like a three pack for $10, $15, something like that, maybe a little bit less, a little bit more. Um, you don't need to use the great big or grab the great big bottles of ink like you're going to see in my video. You can go on Amazon and get the 35 colors for $15, you know, packs. Those are fine. That's what I did. They're just not as vibrant. So your pinks are a little bit more pastel -y than, you know, bright. Your yellow is more of like a little pastel yellow and not yellow. So just kind of keep that in mind. If you can spend a little bit on the inks, go for it. Another thing, cups. Okay. Especially if you are starting out. I'm all for the whole, okay, so the whole purpose of this channel, other than to show you, hi, here's how to make tumblers, is to share with you all the little tips and tricks that I never knew when I was coming up, okay? Um, everyone kind of teaches, hi, this is the right way to do things, and that's great, and nobody's wrong in that, but also, sometimes you can't always do that. Sometimes you don't have the money, you don't have the space, you don't have the time, you don't have... You do it and you mess it up and nobody tells you how to fix what gets messed up or little hacks to get you there, okay? When it comes to doing these kind of tumblers especially, or actually any kind of tumbler, when I first started, I used like the same tumbler like five times. Like I would do a design when I was learning. I would let's say I would I would learning how to just put glitter on a on an epo on a, an epoxy tumbler. I would get it, get it done call it good if I was happy with how it, it came out, take it back out into my garage, spray paint it, and then try something else on it. Obviously, I wasn't selling these cups, but tumblers are expensive. So while learning this, because this usually takes like a, a time or two to get this right, grab a cup from the dollar store or a stainless, you know, stainless uh, tumbler off Amazon that you know is not something you're going to worry about selling per se. Try it. Try it without the glitter. Um, master how to get this swirl and then make, you know, something amazing and pretty for yourself or your neighbor or your mom or whatever. Um, there are little ways to get around this. These are, tumblers are an investment, okay? So don't go and buy, you know, $10 tumblers or whatever and then go to make this and jack it up because like I said, this is something that either you are going to get it right off the bat or you're going to have to you know, take two or three times to get it right. And that's okay. So do this on a naked tumbler without the glitter. You know what I mean? Do it. And if you don't like it, once the epoxy gets dried, take it back out, spray paint it your color all over again and do it again until you learn how to make it the way you want. I hope that makes sense. I always feel like I'm rambling in these videos, but I hope that makes sense. So that pretty much is it. I didn't put a decal on this because I just didn't, I didn't write, I didn't, I didn't put a decal on this one, um, but these are beautiful. These are absolutely gorgeous. You start putting holographic decals and things like that. And there's a, there's a lot you can do. So I think that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think. Okay. Thanks. See ya. Now back to the fun stuff. Go ahead and mix together about 15 mLs of epoxy and apply to your cup in a very thin, even layer, including the bottom. You are then going to start sprinkling on your glitter in very light, even passes, making sure that your entire cup is completely covered. Once your epoxy is cured, spray your tumbler with spray sealer and then add another coat of epoxy on top of your glitter. Once that is cured, if it needs a second coat, add a second coat of epoxy until your cup is completely smooth. Okay, so after two coats of epoxy, we have this super, super sparkly, gorgeous cup. Um, this particular glitter is aggressive. And when I say it's aggressive, let me see. See all those little boinkies? Where am I at? Like right there, sticking out. Um, super pretty, super sparkly, super angry glitter in that even on two coats of, after two coats of epoxy, 
it still has a ton of glitter that sticks up. So I am going to go ahead and sand this down. Our next step is going to be to, um, to add the swirl. So I have an electric sander because I like myself and I don't want to I don't want to kill myself with a sanding block on this particular job. I'm going to go ahead and sand it and we're going to move on to the next step. Okay, so these single style spinners are actually my favorite ones to do swirls on um, because they're not locked down. This one is because as you can see, it's been epoxy to the, the actual table. But the spinner that I normally do um, use for my tutorials all clean and pretty um, you know you're you can take that and you can literally flip it up flip it down and that's the secret to a really awesome swirl so on mine again oops sorry for this one um, I'm going to be unscrewing this and that's how we are going to um, get that movement with a swirl I have completely rooked my husband into helping film this so we're, we're going to go ahead and uh, Mix up the epoxy now. We're going to apply epoxy and I'm going to show you how to apply the colors and then we're going to go ahead and swirl. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to put a, a thin coat of epoxy on this. One of those scenarios where you don't want too little, don't want too much. You want your ink to move. So you don't want to do a micro thin coat of epoxy, but you also don't want a hundred pounds of epoxy on there either. And like I said, the secret to a swirl is movement. Make sure you get that bottom. Now I've got a little cup here. My hand friend, a little cup here. I've got worked my husband into helping us. And I'm going to pour a little bit in. Always go more than you think you're going to need. So, about that much. So, about that much. And I. About uh, 20 milliliters worth. About 20 milliliters worth. Thank you, sir. He's my numbers guy. I'm the this much girl, and he's the exactor. And then I just pour just a little bit of white in there. About five milliliters worth of droplets. <laughs> yeah, like add two drops. No, that's not what we do. We pour it, stir it all in. Look at this. I think you can all understand now why my workspace is an absolute train wreck. Put that off to the side. Okay, what we're going to do now is add our ink. The inks that I use are piñatas. Senorita Magenta, Sun Bright Yellow, and Baja Blue. Um, if you're an organized person, you can pour some of this into a little cup. I'm not an organized person. I'm a train wreck. So I just kind of grab it right out of the bottle. If I can get the bottle open. Which I can. This is kind of like every way you should not do this is how I kind of do it. And for that, I'm sorry. Yes, I'll edit all that part out. I didn't say anything. I'm, I'm trying to find a good spot to be able to get the thing without your fucking arm going 65 times into the cup, which it did. What I'm going to be doing, yeah, I'm going to drop this way. It's fine. I think I got it right here. Don't. Okay. Stop using your left arm to do that. I got you. I'm in. I'm all over here now. Can I go this way? Mm-hmm. Okay. You're right. good. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start dropping ink. My husband's gonna near get all up in that so you can see where I'm dropping the ink. What I like to do, you gotta remember, make orange, yellow and blue make green, green. I mean, pr uh, pink and blue make purple. So you want to add a little bit of pink at the bottom, but mostly I keep my pinks up in this area up here, a little bit right there. Um, then I go in with my yellow and I'm just dropping. I'm not trying to organize it. I'm just literally dropping all random. Get a little bit right down there. I'm going over, I'm going under, okay. And then I bring my blue in. My blue, I'm more concentrated 
at the bottom. And I also want to get right there on the edge and kind of get it to go down a bit. Not so much worried about that part. And then I'm going to add a little more pink at the bottom so that we have Okay. Now, we've got all of our colors on there. What we're going to do next is add the white. And what I do is just literally add a little bit here and a little bit there. Sometimes it might take you doing these a couple times to kind of figure out how much white you really want. That white is going to make those colors pop. All right, now the fun part. I'm going to take this off the spinner very carefully, okay? Torch. I'm going to lightly torch it just to kind of get everything a little bit warm, not too much. You don't want to use too much of the torch because if you go too heavy in one area, it's going to run. And that's not always what the look you're going for. So what I do then is I will slowly and lightly just start torching that ink just a little bit. And you're going to move. Oops, sorry. I do this so my husband can see where I'm at. Now I know I want a little bit more pink there. I'm going to go through and just add a little bit here and there. Add a little more blue. Keep your little cup spinning while you're doing all this kind of stuff, though. Because if not, your epoxy is going to pull in one area, and that's not what we're trying to do. See right here where it's, it's running? I got a little too hot right there. So we are going to let that kind of flow down a little bit. You can see everything's coming down. And then we're going to make them all the way back up. You want to hit your whites so they go down into your colors. And that's what's going to give you those bursts of color. The white against the, that colored alcohol ink. Okay. And now, oops, hold on, one little thing. All right, these take a little bit of practice, but once you get it, you're gonna love it. I don't love that area right there. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of white. And now it'll swirl into a different color. Okay, so now, that it's all swirly. I'm going to go ahead, pop it back onto my spinner, and ignore it. Pop it back onto the spinner, she says. Alright, there we go. And now that's going to spin. Those colors are still going to kind of meld together a little bit. And um, that's pretty much it. You can kind of babysit it. And, um, you know, if there's any little spots that you're really not a fan of, you can kind of tweak it a little bit. But pretty much once you get it on there, you're pretty much done. Like there's one tiny little spot that I want a little more pink to. And what that is going to do is as it spins, it'll go ahead and... Um, mesh it with everything else. So 
that's pretty much the secret to uh, to swirls. Swirls. Oh shit. <laughs> So, 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 so,